How's it going everyone? So we're looking at the texturing side of the clothing we did. I did some texturing over the week just so that was set up for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to do, you know, how to get the base and then, or well, the base colour and then get the detailed different colours. Um, as you can see, the, the shoulders are sort of nice bluish. Um, then the detailing is silver. So I'll show you how to sort of mask areas to get that. Um, so what we're looking at is the boots here. Um, you'll have all these sections on the bottom left. So you've got smart materials, which is what you should be using or one of the things you should be using. Uh, smart materials is a good way you get a base material with some de detailing on it. So it'll add some scratching or dirt. Um, with the Substance 2020, you got a new fabric material, um, which works really nicely. Um, you've got quite a few materials. Um, a lot of the materials I've got in here are also bought, so definitely have a look at, look, definitely look at getting some materials if you want to expand your library. Um, I think some of these materials are from an Anthem pack, so they've been really helpful. So what I did with the boots is they should be a, well, I would kind of want a fabric. So what you want to do is get a fabric base or that's one I use, but I'm going to give you the free ones, so a fabric base. That adds, you know, the base there. Once you've done that, um, you can add a fill there, add a black mask. So what the black mask does is it will mask the areas in which you want details. Um, so what we might want to do is create a smart mask. With this, I might want to do um, dust occlusion. So just drag that on. That adds some um, sort of dust effect on it. When you go onto the generator, you can invert it. That will make everything. So just invert the amount of dirt. You can invert off, um, increase the dirt level. Contrast will make it more, you know, it'll make the dirt finer, but will reduce the amount of dirt, but then you just increase the dirt level and there you go. So you want to get a nice balance of, you want to get a nice balance of dirt or color against the black one. Um, and cause you added a fill layer, um, with the smart mask, you can change the color of it. So you can change the color of the dirt. Maybe you want like a gray with the black or sort of different shade of what the boots actually are. Um, you can increase the metallic, which isn't useful here. Roughness, if you want this to be really rough dirt or um, shiny dirt. And height, give it a bit of height if you want it to be quite, you know, dry. Once you've done that, you've got the base layer for boots and theory. So then go into another folder and create a smart material. With this, it's going to be a sort of metal. So what I do here is, um, let's find a metal. Steel Medieval, that added it to the entire of the boots. So what you want to do is add a black mask to it. If your boots are symmetrical, click the symmetry button. Okay, so when you've got this, um, this metal in a new folder, create a black mask to it. This then allows you to mask the areas which you want to be the metal. <clears throat> So you might want to hide the first folder so it's easier for you to see the detailing that you want to do. This paint brush is what you're going to be using. Um, and size is just the size of the paintbrush. And you can just paint on it. You can then erase areas that, you know, if you didn't do a good outline, you can just erase it. Then draw on it again.
as you can see, the, the um, drawing is coming up on that side as well. So I'm not going to do that because it takes a bit too long. I've actually got that done there. Um, another option, so if I then put that on top of that folder, you can see the metal detailing has come out on top. If you want to change the colour of the boots, you then go back into your, you know, your fabric, fabric base. You can then change the colour to like, I know, brown for boots maybe. Yeah, you can change to brown for boots. Um, Let's add a fill layer. This might be the pattern you add. So add a fill. If this fills up, then you can choose a sort of, um, you can just choose something here. So let's try a weave. Increase the scale by doing that. That creates a weave pattern. So maybe you bring that um, and there, let's get rid of the colour. And there you go, you've got a nice sort of pattern for it. Or a nice sort of fabric looking thing. And there you go, you've made a fabric pattern for your boots. So that's how you get a base. Well, that's sort of how you you know, add materials and then add other materials, black masks onto your um, material sections. Um, but yeah, so that's the boots done. I'm going to go back to my original designs because I liked them. This was my original design. I did the same with the legs, I did the exact same thing where I masked the metal and I added the material onto the leggings. There was one thing I needed to show you, it was the chest. With the chest, um, <clears throat> I did added a, you know, you add a material, then you add a texture onto it. Exact same thing I did before. A different way of masking and selecting materials for you know for stuff is if I did so that black metal is already on it so that was applied to everything what you can do is add a folder with a black mask and this black mask will select um, go to this button here you can then select UV islands um, group so whatever it is um, polygon fill so that will fill the polys this UV island, what you can do is go, okay, I'm gonna select those bits for this folder. Then going to add a leather to it. And as you can see, the masking that I did there where I selected the UV island has just been applied to those bits there. So if you don't wanna paint areas to mask it, if you want to select different UV parts, you just black mask the folder and anything in that folder will be applied to um, the black mask. So, yeah, that is pretty much the basics of texturing armor and stuff. You just get a material, um, yeah, you just add a, add a material, add a fill there, um, add a back mask onto that fill, fill there and well, fill, fill there. Um, yeah, so not sure what else to really go through for it. Just follow those sort of steps and you can get quite nice um, variations to your armour and clothing. It can look quite decent if you do it right. And yeah, yeah. for now that'll be it for the texturing side because that was all done. Um, I can go through maybe the, maybe the skin texturing at some point, but using Character Creator 3, you don't really need to look at skin texturing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. 
if it helped anyone let me know look out for my next video because that's about uh importing into character creator 3 making sure the clothing fits onto the character making sure the cat the clothing works on the character so that it moves in the right areas when it um when it's rigged so yeah um if you're if you've got character creator 3 um look out for that video because it's it'll be very quite helpful i think that's the end of this part of the, the tutorial so if you haven't got character creator 3 this is the end um hope you all learned something through the entire process um yeah so I'll see, so yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.